Hi, I'm going to show you the, um, how to select a nice piece of opal out of some rough opal. I've got some rough opal here in a tray and I particularly used light colour trays or, or um, metal trays because it shows the true colours of the opal. For instance, this one here, when it's sitting on this white, it looks quite dull. But if it was in a black tray, you can see the colours come up a lot darker and brighter. So I always use a light colour tray or metal tray. But when you're going through, you can pick up each individual piece. And what you're looking for is seeing where bars of colour are running through the rough opal. This is actually a piece of black opal from Lightning Ridge. And you can see the black potch is underneath and then the bar of blue going through it. In this is a mixture of crystal opal, grey opal, crystal opal. And if I pick up this piece here, you can see that this has got a couple of bars, one down the bottom, one in the middle and one at the top. Now it's wet so you can see what it would look like when it's polished because when we're cutting an opal all we're doing is shaping it and cutting the sand out and polishing it so it looks bright and fiery all the time. We're not, we can't add colour to natural opal we can't make the colour any better or deeper. All we're doing is shaping it so it fits nicely in a setting. So there's one with a couple of bars and this is your crystal opal. I also have light opal and you can see that this has dried off a bit so I'll just give it a bit more water and there you can see the red and the green, the electric green coming through. And then if I turn it like that it's just your potch. So you have to work with the stone when you're cutting it. Um, you have to work with the colour bar. So you have the colour sitting on top and then the potch on the bottom. So that's very, very important. There's some other pieces that I've rubbed out a bit. And again, you can see the black potch on the bottom. And then you can see this is what we call sand here in the back and we try and cut that out as much as we possibly can and then that's got your royal blue on top. Here's another one and you can just see that bar of green. If I turn it round you can see it's black on the back and then you can see the sand on the top. So where your skill comes in is looking at the rough opal, seeing which way you're going to cut it, um, shaping it and everything is quite easy to do but it's important that you read the stone properly and there's one that I've popped through a saw and got rid of any excess potch and you can see that the bar of colour is running here and here and so I've cut it to work with the st natural st stone.